Okay, so now we're going to show you how to embed images into uh, into web pages. And uh, let's look for the directory where we're doing all our work. Um, earlier, we had created a directory called Internet, and in there, I believe we have created a directory uh, called Multimedia. There it is. Uh, and so, in here, Multimedia, we had created a a web page called Video by HTML. Now we're going to create another. A web page called images.html where we are going to put um, all our images. Okay, so now we're going to open it up for editing with our favorite uh, text editor. Now you can use Notepad or WordPad. I have a particular one that I like to use called Scintilla or SciT. There it is. Uh, let's expand this and uh, let's create a heading uh, to identify this web page. Uh, we'll say that these are my images. Okay, so make sure that uh, you save often so you make sure that you're not losing any of your uh, changes. Um, and once we save, we can go back to our directory and double click on the web page uh, document and so that it opens up in the uh, your default browser and see what it looks like. Well, there it is. So it says my images. That's exactly what we typed earlier in our document. Look here in the address bar, it says that we are opening the local file on the C drive under the directory multimedia and the file call is images.html. That's the document we just created. Let's uh, create a new tab here in your browser and then so that we can go to Google and search from some images. Uh, let's uh, type here something about, let's see, uh, let's look for a space shuttle. My, uh, my son, my four-year-old, he's uh, He's a real big fan of Space Shuttle. All right, so uh, let's click on images and and let's see. Google has found all these cool images about the Space Shuttle. Let's choose one. How about uh, this one on the right? Uh, let's click on that. And let's clicking until we find the actual file that represents this image. Um, there it is. Uh, here we go. This is the address. The URL for the image, notice that it ends with .jpg. That means that this is a an image file. We'll select this address and uh, and copy it and paste it in our web page that we are creating. So copy. Now let's go back to our uh, document, our web page document, and we will we're going to use the uh, well. First, let's create a, a a title for this for this image. So first, we created an H1 for the main title, and, it, and we're going to use an H2, a smaller title, for the image that we're going to paste. Uh, to include images, we use the IMG HTML tag, and the HTML tag takes uh, one argument, one, one attribute that says the source, that tells the image tag where is the image to go get it, to fetch it, and then display it in the in the browser. So there it is. So IMG uh, source, we give it the address, and it fetches it. So let's save this. Uh, let's go back to our web page, and not this tab, the other tab where we have our local document. Let's uh, reload the document and see what we get. There it is. There's the second title that we uh, typed and the actual image. So the browser, what it did, it looked at the image tag and it told it to go fetch that image. So it displays it here. Another couple of attributes for the image tag are the size of the image. We can specify what the height of the image is and the, and the width. If you do not specify, then it uses the default size of the image. But we can override that and say that we want the height to be of a particular uh, uh, pixels and, and, and you know, what the width we want it to be. So here we have 100 pixels of height and a width of 50 pixels. So let's uh, save that and uh, reload the document, see what that looks like. Uh, notice that it has been skewed, uh, it's been deformed. We see that it's uh, taller than it is higher. Uh, and now let's change that. Let's uh, change the height to be. Uh, 50 pixels and let's change the width to be 100 pixels. Now it will be wider than it is taller. Uh, let's save that. Let's go back to the document. Let's reload the page and see what it looks. Like. Notice here it's, it's wider than it's taller. Uh, or we can, instead of skewing like this, we can scale it. We can say, well, we're not, we're not going to specify the height. We're only going to specify the, the width. You can specify one or the other. Here we're going to specify only the width. And what it's going to do is going to proportionally scale the height to match uh, so that is uh, proportional to uh, what it used to be. So here it is. So let's let's save that. Let's uh, reload the document. Okay, there it is. So now it is proportional. Uh, we're only sending the 
uh, the width to 150 pixels, or you can set the height if you want uh, you know, a whole bunch of images to be of the same height or a whole bunch of images to be of the same width. So let's change the height to be 150 pixels. It's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, proportionally scale the width uh, to match the original proportion of the, of the image. So let's save that. Let's uh, come back here, reload. Notice that this has been rescaled so that the height is 150 pixels. You can't notice very well. So uh, we've created our uh, web page that contains some images. Uh, you're free to add more images, of course. Um, and once you're, you're happy with your web page, uh, we should link it so we can get to it from our main index page. Um, here is our link that we had for our videos. Now we're going to create another section, call it uh, My Images. Uh, just like we called the, 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 the earlier one by my videos, we'll call this my images. And underneath, we'll create a hyperlink so that we can get to the, uh, the images uh, web page from, from this index page. So let's uh, first uh, type the, the whole phrase, click here to see my images. Now let's pick out the particular word that we want them to click and let's isolate it. There it is, here. And around that word, we're going to put the anchor tag. Uh, we're gonna, here's the opening anchor tag uh, that takes the, uh, the attribute of where is the file, where is the web page that we want to go. And um, so it's the, the file is called images.html and it's under the directory called multimedia. Uh, after the word, we put the closing tag, don't forget that. Okay, let's save and let's go to, the, to reload the page, see if it works. Here it is, here's the index page, we load it, there it is. The, the, the title, the link, if we click on it, we go to the My Images page. Now, the only way to get back to the index page would be to click the back button, or better yet, we can, we can edit the images page and add a link from here, from the images page, uh, to go back to the index page. So you can navigate back and forth between the both pages. So here it is, we're gonna create first a phrase, click here to go back to the index page. Uh, and then we're gonna isolate the word that we want them to click on. There it is. So we're going to isolate the word here. You, you could use the whole phrase if you want, but uh, but in this case, we're just choosing one single one single word. All right. So the dot dot means that you're going to go back one directory up, and then and then go to the file called index.html. So that means when you click on here, you're going to go. It, it goes up one directory, and then and then loads the index page. So there it is. We click on here, it brings us back to the index page. Now, well, now we can navigate between both pages, between the index page and the, and the images page. So we're basically done uh, developing our web pages here on our local machine. Uh, but they're, again, they live on our local machine. We have to make it available for everybody else. We have to upload it to our website. And so we're going to use FTP Surfer. We're going to go to the, uh, where we have our, our directory where we're going to put all our files. Here in the multimedia, just like we put the videos web page there, we're gonna we're gonna put the images that we just created. It gets uploaded. There it is. Uh, if we now uh, we also updated the index page, so the one that's here is is an old version. So we have to upload the new version, which we just updated. So let's uh, upload our our new index page. There it is. Let's double click on that. It's asking us, are you sure you want to overwrite this? So we say, yes, we know what we're doing. So it, it's over. Okay, there it is. All right, so let's navigate to the, uh, to the website to see that, uh, that this indeed worked. Uh, it should look exactly like it looks locally. So let's, uh, let's select this. Uh, let's, uh, let's go to the URL where our website is. So it's cweb.uml.edu uh, slash your username. And uh, slash the, your index page, index.html. So we select that. It should look exactly like it looks locally on our machine. There it is. Yeah. So this is the, if you if you remember, this was the, the the page that we were looking at locally. But now instead of looking at locally, this is the page that is online, accessible to the world, and it's exactly what we had originally uh, in our local local uh, local machine. We we can now navigate between. Our index page, our, our images page, we can go back and forth. We still have our videos page there, which also set the, uh, the, the links to go back and forth. It's great.